Now let us quickly understand what is consumption function. See consumption function is nothing but a relationship between the consumer expenditure and income. So if I have to give you a formula on this it would be C is equal to F of Y. So here C is what? C bar plus B Y. Now what is that? C bar is the consumption at zero level of income and B is equal to your MPC and then comes Y which is income after tax that is your disposable income which you can spend without any restrictions. Now see we understood that the relationship between consumption expenditure and income is the consumption function so I told you C is equal to F of Y okay so now here see even when the income was zero we had this consumption happening okay now if I divide C by Y that is my consumption by Y so I'll get my EPC okay so this is how I have derived my APC then I have derived the delta C which is change in the consumption so that's nothing but 350 minus 300 we get 50 400 minus 350 we get 50 so on and so forth similarly I got delta Y so here it is 0 then there is a 200 change 200 minus 0 then we get 400 minus 200 which is 200 so the marginal propensity to consume is delta C upon delta Y okay so I divided 200 by 50 I divide it's delta C by delta Y so I divided 50 by 200 okay 50 by 200 50 by 200 this is what the MPC is all about okay so if I have to plot this this is how my consumption function will look like okay so here you can see this is 400 the consumption is 400 when the income is also 400 that's a equal point so CCC which you can see here is a straight line okay you can see here moving upward it's a linear function now this is the break-even point I'm talking about okay so this is the break-even point this is the minimum level of C even when Y is equal to 0. Now remember CC is the consumption function in this diagram. So this is the consumption function. We are talking this line I'm talking about is the consumption function. Okay, showing the behavior with respect to your Y. Okay. Now remember there would be always a positive relationship between y and c so whenever c will income uh, whenever the income will increase the consumption will also increase 